What's up everybody, Victor Pena here and today we have my friend, a special guest, Victor Galvan. We're going to talk to you guys about business, how to have a huge business. We're also going to talk to you about teamwork, family and giving back. This is an action packed episode full of really actionable things that you could take to grow and scale any business. All right, he's in construction, we're in printing but we're about to drop some value for you guys that will work in any market that you're in. All right, stay tuned. We're going to start right now. This guy has a huge construction company in Florida. I don't know, hundreds of employees. How many employees do you have over there? Right now, uh, for this Christmas party, we did a gift for 320 something. Man. Yeah. 320 something and, and when you lose count at the 320 somethings all right guys that's the place where you want to be at uh, but you always got to start with one all right uh, so how, how'd you we, we all know you're incredibly successful uh, think about it like this when you were starting what got you to start and and how did you start in the first place to to start uh, growing like that so at the beginning, it was to see how others was doing it, and I wasn't happy where I was. So, so I had this little thing inside me that was telling me to start on my own. And, um, and so what I did, I, I chose three of the best companies in the area, and I went and worked for them, and I got the best out of each one, and I put all three together. And that's how I started uh, VMG Construction back in 2007. But... I, I, it was it was very hard to go through the process because you start a business not knowing what's out there. So, so, so I wish that back then I had mentors. I, I really believe on mentors, but I didn't have the money or I didn't have the 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 the. the I wasn't I, I guess in, in in the right area where you can hear about mentors. So 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 it wasn't into into many many years that after all the problems that I went through that I started seeing the success, why, why I was being successful. And, 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 and most of the time it was because I was adding people. And when I noticed that, let me add this, this guy. And when I added the right, the right guy, the right PM, the right uh, executive, the right superintendent, I see more volume and I see more profits and I see more quality of, of organization, more quality of, of trucks, equipment, everything. So I was buying more. So, I just keep doing the same thing and the same thing. Mm. So how, it, how, how old were you when, when, so you go from being an employee and uh, as construction trade is concrete, uh, uh, big concrete buildings, uh, everything from the foundations to the walls to all that stuff. Uh, so you, you, you were working for other people. How old were you at that time? I, uh, I was 16 years old when I started working for the first company and it took me almost three years, three years to, to find what I really wanted to do in that company. And then it probably took me another two to three in another company and then probably about four in the next one. So by 24, I was ready. So, so that's about right, you know. So I, I was 24, 25 when I started VMG Construction. That's awesome. And then when you started, uh, what kind of projects were you doing? Uh, was it just by yourself? It was funny because my first project, I was so committed and so happy that my first project, it was in the Virgin Islands. So I went, wow. took a risk. So I told the GC, the only way I would do it is if they contract me so they can hold me accountable. But also, I knew that the job can get uh, done if I can. They contract me here because when you go out there, it's like everything is low motion. Nobody cares. Nobody moves. So I had to get them to contract me here, so I can go after them too. And that was a very successful company that uh, that, that trust me and believe on me to go and do it. I went over there, very successful, did it, and got out of there alive, <laughs> making money. And then my first job here in the States, I was so happy after the success of that one. So when we started our first job, it was, a, it was in a school. It was uh, just to do a little door stoop and stuff like that. We were so happy 
that, that we were starting here in the States that we forgot to bring the wheelbarrow yeah. or the pump or however we was going to dump it. So we had to take our hard heads and we have to take our, our lunch boxes and put it in there. So we were supposed to pour <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's crazy, but that was my first job in the States. So happy that I had to only pour three pads out of, out of six because the kids was coming to the school. So those was the most important. So they, the, the, the GC can get the, 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 the letter to open the building. So I came up and poured the pads on a Saturday for the other three. For the other ones. But yeah, so yeah, man, you gotta hit the one where you gotta go. Yeah, so you, you, do, you do some uh, difficult jobs to start off, um, but you, you, you're actually like starting small and then building, building a team, right? So with 320 some employees now, uh, like what would you recommend for someone that needs a team that big uh, and, and starting to build it? Like what, what did you do to get your first few employees in uh, to be able to help you on that mission? I think there's plenty of mentors over there. And uh, I guess I'm gonna recommend the public, go to Brandon Dawson. That's the key. He will tell you what three to start. And, and that, 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 the, his process adapts to me so much that every break point I hit it and I know how many people I need. I can help people take it to that level, but they ain't gonna listen to me, right? So if you, I, I guess the, the answer is get a mentor. Get a mentor. Get a mentor. Why go through all this uh, headaches, the problems, the, 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 the family that's going to tell you you can't do it, the, the people that surround yourself, poor mentality and all that stuff. Don't go, don't, don't go through that. Uh, get a mentor and, and, and he will tell you what pieces, what part of the team you need. Any mentor can tell you that, that, that it's going to be hard. And as soon as you know it's going to be hard, you can take it from there. Now yeah. you can readjust whatever was your beliefs in your thinking guys this is the number one thing that you could do okay if you need to get to a level that is big even beyond your own thinking beyond your own beliefs the only hack to be able to do it and get past your own beliefs is to find someone that has already done what you're doing or what you want to do all right literally they have been already successful doing it Dude, if, if you're not following Brandon Dawson, make sure you do that because uh, any, anything from printing to construction, uh, the same. rules are the same, same. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so once, once you learn, and, and by the way, um, I think you're selling yourself short because somebody that's built a business from your size uh, with as many team members, like, mm -hmm. yeah, you, you have a lot to share and you have a lot to, uh, to do. Um, uh, because you've been successful doing it, right? So yes, sir, yes. Uh, you have a lot of power for that. So make sure you're following this guy too because we're going to link uh, his Insta below uh, so that you guys can see what he's up to uh, and because he's going beast mode. So tell me about the, your commitment that you, you did. Remember you're messaging me like, hey, I got this commitment. Uh, I, got my, I, I went to get uh, physical, checked out and everything because... I'm gonna go ham. Uh, so tell me about why you made a certain commitment like that um, and how can somebody uh, make a plan and then also put so much commitment to something. Every time I wanted to take it to the next level, I would call my doctor and say, look, I'm gonna go 24 seven. I wanna make sure I'm okay. The doctor would like, you crazy, you can't do it. So I go all in, he would do uh, head scans, chest scans, veins, everything, make sure nothing's clogged up. So, and, and, and then uh, and then he would not prove me, but he's like, if you want to do it, go ahead. I did all this, go ahead, go all in. So at the end of the day, I, I, I always pray to God that, that, that I work 24 seven, seven days a week, because you know what? Why not now? Why wait later? Right now that I can do it. And one thing that I did, and, 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 and guys, don't, don't take me wrong, that I don't spend time with my kids or my family. I spend plenty of time and plenty, you know, it's plenty. So I involve them on everything I do and they're with me everywhere I go. So, so to go back is that, why well, I wanna wait later? Why well, I wanna, 
uh, try to figure out later what I can do right now. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah. Do it now. I'm, I'm going all in. And, and, and right now I knew I was going to start a few more businesses. And, and, and I have to be ready and available for all of them. I may not have the people to help me build them, but I'm already hiring the teams and the people that I can leave that they can stay there and make sure they, they, they know what I want so they can push all my systems that I want on that company. And I know they're all gonna be successful, but I, I commit myself five years and I started last year and I'm all in, whatever it takes. You call me, I'll be here. I love Whoever that. calls me, I, I go to Mexico, I go wherever, I'm there. It doesn't matter what it is, I'm gonna be there to see how I can help, how I can push, how I can learn how I can impact, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, that's, that's just me. Dude, I love that. So, uh, guys, this is a guy that's already successful, uh, making big, big revenue numbers, big team, okay? And he says, I'm going to re recommit to get to the next level. Number one thing he does, and there's a number one thing you can do. He's like, all right, I, I want to go all in. I'm committed but I'm going to be smart. Health is number one. I'm going to go get checked out. I'll be like, okay, uh, do everything. For example, I'll do, you know, who told me this in one of the lives, uh, uh, Damon John. Okay. Uh, he told me, Hey, you always got to do an executive physical every single year that checks everything, even shit. The doctors don't want to check. You find a way to get it all checked out. Right. 100%. Because, um, if, if, uh, you don't focus on your health, there's no way that you can do huge things because you need that energy, you need that vitality and all that at whatever age, okay guys? So number one, commit to your health so you can have the energy to go beast mode on whatever you wanna do, okay? I believe that 100%. So number one, health, all right? Number two, uh, commitment to do bigger things even though you're already doing big things. Go all in. Go all in, all right? Uh, and then I was like, hell yeah, let's go. 100%. Let's go. 100%. This guy straight up goes to families in Mexico and builds them houses. All right. And I got super motivated and I was like, dude, I want to go do that with you. So uh, next year in June, July, we're going to go over there. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to make and an we're gonna impact. We're going to show you how we do it. And, That's right. And how we do it, we not just give them the, the, the piece of property, the, the house. We also do like a storefront. And we teach either the kids of the of the family we help or the family to improve their self so they can sell so they have a little storefront. A little so, business. Exactly. And we go. Dude, I love that. And we I, should set up some print shops. And then, little little print shops uh, where they can sell and they can they can make uh, money like that. Hundred percent. We that. can do it. And I have the person over there that that helps me go to. To, to go through the process because a lot of the things, like I, I can tell you my kids, just to give you a sample, what's the problem. So like my kids, for each house that I donate, one of them donate the, either the, the stove, the other one the refrigerator, and the other one the, the washing machine. So that's their job. They got to raise money to donate too. So Your so, kids got to do that. A hundred percent. Dude, I love that. So how about you guys that have lazy kids, all right, that are not inspired? Dude, give them something. To, I, kids want wins, right? They 100%. kids want stuff to do. 100%. They they're not just on uh, YouTube and shit because they want to be. They don't have targets. Yes, sir. They don't have things to do. Dude, that's so powerful. And you, and, I don't have kids, but if I did, my foes would be working. I'll tell you that. And this is <laughs> this is no, and this is the fun. So my kids get to be there to show them where the tomatoes goes, where the eggs. Sometimes these, these families, they put their eggs on the, on the ice cubes and they put it, and we're like, no, no, no. <laughs> so now my oh, kids- Oh, they train them how to use the appliances. Exactly, because they never had appliances. This yep. is families that, they don't even got power. So you just go and set up power for two to three years and stuff like that. So, so automatically I got an account, I got a receipt, I check it, 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 ain't nothing over there for power. They charge you like 40 pesos every two months. So yeah. it's nothing. So, so, but at the end of the day, it, that's that Mexican was, pesos. All right. That's $2. That's right. $2. That's it for power. <laughs> so, so that's the funny thing. The, 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 the good thing about it, that, that you get, you involve your kid, your family, and they get to go and teach others and, and they, 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 they can see 
the, 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 and they appreciate what they got at home. Yeah, really and, that, and that's, that. that's hard life, right? So, uh, for example, I came from Mexico when I was seven. Um, I still remember, uh, so, so the way you shower is with buckets, okay? You got cold water, uh, and then if you're lucky, you got somewhere to warm up the hot water, um, and you throw a couple of those in the bucket to get the bucket warm, okay? And then here you go, you just hammer and you, you shower like that, With right? a little charola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how you do it, yeah. you know, you got to put it outside in the morning on the sun so the sun hit it, and by the afternoon, it's kind of warm enough that you can shower. <laughs> That's how I do it. Uh, so for people that have kids, uh, what are the things are you doing to help your kids understand the value of money, uh, how to work hard and how to how to build things. Um, my recommendation is get them involved on everything you do, and make sure you stay on it and don't let don't let them, uh, little by little, tell you what to do, because it's very easy to 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 stay off off them. So one way that I do it, I can give you a sample. Uh, a Sebastian, he's in charge, uh, I, I create a chicken coop, so he's in charge of giving food, water, and all stuff. And I told Sebastian, look, if one of them dies, I'm going to come after you. So and then I plan He's a chicken manager. So he's the chicken manager, only for a few, so he can get the discipline, right? The discipline to come down, feed him, open, clean, and, 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 and close the door at night and all that stuff. And then Brianna, she's uh, 10 years old. Well, she, she's in charge is I planted eight trees. And so that's easier for me. I'm like, Brianna, when the tree is going yellow, I'm going after you. <laughs> so now she knows. And I'm like, if the tree die, I'm definitely going to come and spank you. Right? <laughs> I don't, there's no options. And then Sophia, she's 16 years old. She's been in charge of the pool. I don't pay nobody to come and, 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 and treat the pool, nothing like that. She's in charge. So that's the responsibility I give them. Plus... They're also in charge of washing their own clothes, keeping their own room clo uh, clean. We don't, we just go and inspect. I'm like the inspector, I go and check. I make time to go and check all these things. So make them accountable, make them uh, responsible. I don't know how to say it, but. Uh, yeah, it's accountable, accountable. responsible. Uh, you yeah, have to. Yep. But the, th the key of all this is to stay on top of it. Don't lose track. I give them list and checklist, and I got the mom sometimes doing the checklist to make sure they did everything. So I did it for like 21 days so it can get a discipline in the back of their mind. So, so just stay on top of them and, and, and don't, 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 que no se, que don't, que no se paren de las ledaros, como se dice? Don't, don't, you just stay on top of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So accountability, keep, mm -hmm. keep, keep the kids accountable is what it's saying. 100%. Whatever, uh, whatever you, you push them to do, make sure that you keep them uh, accountable. Dude, that's, that's amazing because I, I don't see them. A lot of the times, guys, I see like, uh, you know, the kids are on the iPad and uh, that's the babysitter. No, so you're saying no, no, uh, don't let the devices babysit the kids. No, the devices. My kids are allowed to be 24-7 on the device only if they're learning something or if they watching like a, a motivation guy or a Grand Cardone, that's it, nothing up. Or like Sebastian, he, he's going to be a, a professional soccer player, so he's allowed to watch techniques on YouTube and that's it. If I catch him doing it, I don't take the phone because the phone is not more important than them, but I give him different discipline and I explain to them why and over the process, I take the phone away to, just to let them know that the phone is not, a, not, is not more important than them, but I still take it out with the process. So accountability, discipline. 100%. How, how is, that, is that similar to how you're growing your team? You, so tell me more about business stuff now, about, uh, you know, you guys do, like how much revenue do you guys do per year? 110. 110 million. How do you, how, at, at that size, when you use accountability and discipline, uh, how do you do that with your team? Everything is commitment. When you hire the people, they, they, first of all, they send you the resume, but the resume doesn't mean anything. But you can see what type of commitment they have. And based on that commitment, that, that's how much you'll be able to push them to take. And then the more success they see, the more they want to take. So, so I don't have a system that can tell you everybody 
where to go down the line. But right now I'm still to the point that I can still control it with my family, right? So, 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 but just get the right people. And how do you know you got the right people? People that's committed, people that wants to grow, people that wants to take it to the next level. And we don't have a, a, a scale of how much they should be making. For example, a project manager can only make to 140,000. Me, unlimited. Go on yeah, in. so you, you don't limit uh, Position. uh, yeah, positions. You don't limit their revenue. You don't limit what, they, what they're going to make. It's up to them to work hard and they can, they can jump levels uh, and, and keep growing. 100%. So one message that I always send is to make sure everybody is, is, is teaching somebody. So, so a project manager need to have another project engineer to take over him so he can go and do bigger things because I need him so they can take my role. So everybody's taking roles from the labor to the carpenter to the PM to the executive to the operations to the BP operations. So everybody's taking, taking, um, taking everybody's role so, so they can go up to be the president because I want to get out. Yeah. I want these people to run the businesses, which they're already doing it, right? But they don't know. So now you yeah. went to the mode. Now you're that, training them. See, exactly. So now you went to the mode that you're stepping out, stepping out, stepping out, so they can run your business the same way that you was doing it. Dude, but they're already doing it right now. They just don't know. Uh, there's no business owner that's winning that I've talked to that tries to limit what people are doing in their business. In fact, I want people that come here mm -hmm. to uh, aspire to take my job. 100%. How, how, do you, how do you do it? What would you recommend me if I want to move to California and start a construction? Damn! Company? I love California. I do talks for the local governments and stuff all the time. Uh, and the reality is very expensive to be here, work here, live here, and all that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but having said that, it's the lifestyle is beautiful. Okay, lifestyle is beautiful, the areas, every time I come home from anywhere, I'm like, man, this is, this is amazing, right? So, all right, start, starting a construction business here. So, number one, the, the, like, the type of project, if you're going to do similar projects of uh, uh, construction, uh, concrete, and all that, yes. uh, or, or you want to do the complete? Um, no, just the concrete. Sorry. All right, all right. So... There's so many commercial tilt-ups and stuff going up in California, especially on the outskirts mm -hmm. for the cannabis industry and all that. Um, what I would recommend is you do an acquisition. And it doesn't mean with a whole bunch of money buy things. Um, it means that you, you want to find a business of somebody that is exiting, mm -hmm. uh, retiring, They've had a successful run doing the same thing, mm -hmm. but what's happening? And there's a huge transfer of wealth happening that a lot of people are retiring, but their kids are not taking over. They're not taking over. Because their kids want to be YouTubers. They want to be on Instagram. They want to like, you know, be on jets uh, and they want to go to Dubai and do photograph, you know, construction business to a YouTuber doesn't seem sexy, even if it's making money. They don't, they're not trained yet. They didn't grow up with the training. So I recommend. So recommend that position? You, you find one of those opportunities. Mm -hmm. Because check this out. Their only option is to retire. Uh, and they and don't know they can and, sell it. And close the business. Mm -hmm. Most of them can't sell it because they don't have their operational structure. Uh, their only option is to close it and have nothing. Or you, you partner with them on an earn out basis. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, look, you're gonna. If if I take it over, I put my systems, my processes, um, and and I use your customer list. So so how, you you okay? So you offer them like a percentage or uh, back to them if you buy them, or you only take a percentage. I, I would do. It, it depends on the business, right? If they're if they have pro, uh, positive profit, good EBITDA, okay. and you could do evaluation, uh, construction businesses. Uh, I could share the sheet with you if you want. Construction businesses, you could buy for 2 to 3x EBITDA. If, but that if they're not making any money, mm -hmm. then you can't put money in. You, you would have to say, uh, hey, I want, uh, 
you know, I'll help you transition this, but in the next five years, maybe I'll give you X amount of money uh, on top of what you were already making. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's called a baseline deal okay. for acquisition. So I would not come here and start a business from zero. No? No. All right. I knew a little bit, but how do you go to the extra mile to like all the countries? Like, how do you expand and all that stuff? I guess that was my question. Right? Yeah, that, that's a good question. So, um, when it, so, so we're talking construction, right? And printing, but it doesn't matter what trade that you're in, guys. So, you, number one, you have to have commitment, which you already do for creating the content. Mm -hmm. uh, the way we do it, and I always share, as, as a matter of fact, when I do talks or presentations, I would say, hey, look, I'm going to share uh, not theory. I'm going to share what I do in hopes that you take it and copy it because there's so much business out there. Uh, I don't live from a place of scarcity. I'll share exactly why we do things and how we do it right. because the ideas are the easy part. It's actually executing that's hard, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and, and we, we try here to execute uh, better and better every month every year all right so number one we go from a place of education to make content that is like this where it's long form mm -hmm. that means that i'm doing an 18 30 45 minute long video uh, and we're covering a few different topics uh, but that's my top of the funnel type of uh, uh, content that i want to do because i'm educating people out there, they're getting value from it. Uh, they get to know me, they get to know you, they get to know the brand. Um, and then from there, we take uh, things um, that are positive, we take, we take little pieces of those 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and then we'll make a five minute, we'll make a one minute clip, we'll make a 15 second oh, clip out of, out of that, all right? Wow. So, so, but it takes the commitment. Uh, when we built this, um, this building full of offices, I already knew a big chunk of it needed to be the studio, and uh, and also uh, so the you team. you knew from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. Because I asked you, did this gentleman work for you full time? Because I, I was thinking to get somebody part time. So you actually went all in. So I guess your recommendation is I gotta go all in on the studio or the podcast. Yep, yep. And for example, right now we have three editors that uh, edit all our content, and my main goal is to make uh, like his successful easy uh, to find positive people to help the marketing department, uh, more people, more editing, more videos. We need to do 10 times as much more content here, right? Uh, and, we're, and we're doing a lot. But um, we slowly but surely, we'll, we, we find the next good person, then we find the next good person, and it's going to help us scale. Uh, and then I can, I can uh, have them get some wins, right? So... Uh, no, number one, commit, commit with the team, commit with the space, and then, and then commit with the time on your calendar. If you're not committing time on your calendar for content, guys, yeah, you're done. Uh, you're done. Yeah, so, so guys, uh, uh, these, these are things that uh, can apply to any industry, uh, can apply to printing industry, can apply to construction, nursing. I don't care what you're doing, all right? So uh, remember that uh, all you have to do is have commitment have the hustle and the grind to get things done and then just just do it smart i see you doing a lot of smart moves uh, so uh where can people follow you uh, so uh, so that they can uh start following your journey check the link before uh, i guess we're gonna put in a little bit right all right yep all right we'll put the link on what your insta that's the best place to follow you everywhere all right uh all right guys there you have it i always have winners to come inspire you my man, Vic. Thank you for the invite. And this time, a special uh, Victor Square in the house uh, to help you guys grow and keep winning and keep creating out there, right? So let's go out and get it.